so because this database is actually running on Postgres, I can connect to the database directly as well. And I'm just going to look at the database credentials here given to me by Heroku. And let me connect to the database. So that's where you can see that the tables are already here. I can make an SQL query to select data from that table, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a sample data set that I have, which is a music database data set. I'm going to import this database to show you how you can get GraphQL instantly on an existing database. This is called the, this is a Chinook database that's often used for benchmarking or, you know, trying a database out. It has um, albums, artists, tracks, and that's the data that I'm importing right now. Once you start importing the data and you head to the Hasura UI, you'll see that these tables come up. Now these tables are untracked, so they're not on GraphQL yet, but as soon as I track them, I can start querying these tables via GraphQL. I can also convert the relationships that are there inside this database into GraphQL relationships into GraphQL relationships instantly. And um, you can kind of see that the data is already here. What I can now do is I can basically start making queries to fetch data from this database um, without having to write any code. So here I'm going to fetch albums, uh, you know, the ID of the album, the title of the album. And you can see that the data starts coming up here. So I can start using this in my app instantly. I can also fetch information from the graph. So what I can say is I want every album and the artist, which is in a different table, but that information gets joined automatically. So I can fetch the album and the name of the artist of that album in the same query. And so I don't have to write different API endpoints to you know kind of fetch this data. This is the power of GraphQL that is instantly accessible.